Hi, today in this Geometry Nodes tutorial we'll talk about the new Phase Set Boundaries node added in Blender 3.4. As its name says, it creates boundaries between the edges that divide the indicated zone. But that might sound confusing and this node is way easier to understand than one probably thinks. So I'll make it even easier for you with two examples. Please just remember that I have a playlist about the Geometry Nodes on the links in the description. Like and subscribe if it's helpful. Okay, first we'll erase unnecessary elements. Then we'll go to Geometry Nodes and create a new node tree. Let's change the wireframe viewport shading to see what we're doing and we'll use the subdivide mesh node by 4. Next, extrude the mesh by the edges and connect the borrowing texture to the group output so we can use the information that it contains in a different environment. It's important to change the attribute domain of this output to face so every face has only one color. Let's give a name to this attribute, something like wall, you will know why. And in the shading workspace, let's connect the base color socket to an attribute node and in the name type the same that you created. Back in geometry nodes workspace and material preview, we're gonna reduce this to the three main RGB colors with a color ramp so we can understand the information better. So first it's gonna be a value of one in red and zero in the others, then same with green and then blue. And the interpolation is gonna be constant so the colors don't mix. Let's separate the color and use a compare node in equal connected to the selection of the strut mesh. So if I connect one of the colors and set the second value to one, then we'll have all the edges where the selected color has a value of one. But this is too messy. So let's clean up a little. Now we can see that all the edges where there's a face with the selected color are extruded. But if what we want is to only extrude the ones on the edges, then we just have to connect the face set boundaries node. And voila, now let's set a material for the extruded edges so we can see clearly what's going on. A black material. And now you can see everything clearly. So the color that we select is separated from the others. That's what this node does. It separates faces according to the instructions that we provide, in this case, by color. This second example is taken from the developer notes with some changes and I'll explain it really quick. This side of the node tree gives us the information of what we want to erase. And this part helps us see the original geometry on one hand and the geometry with the modifications on the other. So if we mute the set face boundaries node, we can see that without it, we're just delaying all the points that are greater than 0.3 or less than minus 0.3 in the C axis. But when we activate it, what it does is separate a Accordingly. So tell me in the comments what you think can be done with this node and maybe I'll do it. By now that'll be it. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.